So, uh, what is your name, young man? You know, I don't know if the, the I don't know if you're supposed to be here. The owner's going to come any minute now. He doesn't want people sitting in his space. So, what is your name? I'm Gary Raff. Are you the Gary that owns this space? I am. Now, uh, Gary, how do you spell your name? Because it can be spelled. It's R A F F, like Riff Raff. Like Riff Raff. Now, what about Gary? G A R Y. Okay, just very straightforward. Very easy. And uh, so, may I ask you this? Yes. Um, what would you say your specialty is? 18th century, 19th century, English, French, Italian, continental antiques, paintings, furniture, and decorative smalls. Boy, you, you can answer that pretty well. Most people say uh, coll uh, collectic. So how long have you been doing this? About 26 years? I've, I've been collecting. How long have you been a dealer, though? About seven years. Seven I've, I've years? Been collecting 30. Ah, so what have, what have you done professionally besides this? Uh, I was a working actor. You're a working actor. I was a working actor. And what are some of the uh, the roles I or the film, shows? I did film, television, commercials, theater. I have a master's from UCLA. And what are some, what are some of the roles that we might have seen you in? Um, I did a large uh, KFC commercial where KFC was trying to do uh, a whole new line of healthy chicken sandwiches. Healthy chicken sandwiches. Uh, the whole tagline was, uh, KFC has a lot of sandwiches with a lot of personality. So in 30 seconds. I was a cowboy, a hippie, a surfer, an English butler, a guy on a motorcycle bike, and a young kid. In 30 seconds? It was just me. What, are you, are, if, you're, if nothing else, you are versatile. Now, what is, what is another one of the, one of, what is another iconic role that you've had? I started in a feature film with Paul Servino, Abe Vigoda, and Lauren Green, who was on Bonanza. He uh, wasn't on Bonanza, he was Bonanza. <laughs> And the film, it was a PG comedy. If I tell you it's going to sound like it's porn, it's not. It was called Vasectomy, A Delicate Matter. Vasectomy? Well, it sounds like a medical... Uh... It wasn't. It was just a PG comedy with a terrible title. And I played a very arrogant playboy, playboy banker. An arrogant playboy, playboy banker. banker. That's right. And Paul Servino, who won a Tony on Broadway. His daughter is Mira Servino. Um, and I carry this film together. Ah. So we shot in Texas in the mid-80s. So if I had the power to snap my fingers and I could give you the role in any movie or play or any kind of theatrical production, what is the role that you have been dying to do your entire life? Well, comedy. It's, it's, that's what I do. Well, and what role would you like to do? Um, well, I've done, I've done Shakespeare, I've done Moliere, I've done the classics. But that's what you've done. But isn't there a part that you're aching to play in maybe a movie that has been done or a novel that should be like turned... I would probably do uh, the story about Sid Caesar. So you would like to play the Sid you'd like to play you Sid, Sid Caesar. Caesar. I do, I do indeed. You do, and I used to I love do. him. Great funny man that no one remembers now, but I in, remember the, in the fifties. Now what was it? Was it the show of shows? Show right, of the show of shows. Who Sid doesn't? Coca. Who doesn't remember our, Sid Caesar? Our age group remembers, but no one else does. Ah. But, um, could do any dialect. Could do any fake dialect, any dialect. Do you know what I, I just watched? Well. I do that as well. Did you guys ever see It's a Mad, 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 yes. Mad, yes. Mad World? Yes, they were all there. I it saw was it. just on television and the other all day. There. 